Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to be subtracting positive and negative numbers that have variables. First, we need to go over some prerequisite knowledge. Remember that adding is the opposite of subtracting. So every subtraction question can be written as adding the opposite. Here are a couple of examples to help make it look a little bit easier. 4 plus negative 3, instead we can say 4 minus 3. It's the opposite operation and the opposite sign on the number 3. So the addition turned to subtraction and negative 3 became positive 3. We do the same thing when we have 5 minus negative 2. Instead we can say 5 plus 2. It's the opposite operation, addition in place of subtraction, and it's the opposite sign, positive 2 in place of negative 2. So subtracting is adding the opposite. And that means that every single subtraction or addition question can be written as an addition question. And so we're going to just remember what the rules are for addition, and then we don't have to remember any other rules. Step one, if the signs are the same, you find the sum. In other words, if it's a positive plus a positive, you would add up and get a, a larger positive. If it's a negative plus a negative, you'll add them together and get a larger negative. If the signs are different, like a positive plus a negative or a negative plus a positive, you find the difference. So you'll subtract and you take your final sign from the larger digit. Or in other words, the larger absolute value or the larger number when you ignore the signs. You'll see this several times in the examples that we do today. Let's do one quick question together before we add variables in there. 7.6 minus negative 9.2. We're going to rewrite this as a, an addition question. So instead of subtracting a negative, we're going to be adding positive 9.2. The final sign will be positive because both numbers are positive. And we end up with 16.8, positive 16.8. What happens when we throw in some variables? Same exact steps that we follow, same exact rules that we follow, but we've got some variables. Let's do it. A minus B, when A is equal to 5.2 and B is equal to negative 3.8. Here we go, A minus B. A is 5.2, B is negative 3.8, so it would look like this, 5.2 minus negative 3.8. When we're asked to subtract a negative, it's easier to write it as adding the opposite. So let's change it. Adding a positive 3.8, and we just add the numbers together for our final answer of positive 9. Minus negative is the same thing as adding a positive. Let's do another question. x minus y when x is negative 8.4 and y is positive 15.2 x minus y. We have negative 8.4 minus positive 15.2. That's how we would substitute these numbers in. When you have a subtraction question, you can always change it into adding the opposite. So instead of negative 8.4 minus positive 15.2, we'll change it to negative 8.4 plus negative 15.2. And now we have an addition question but we're adding a, po a negative plus a negative, so our answer is going to be an even larger negative number. Or in other words, negative 23.6. That'll be our final answer for this question. Now we're going to throw one word problem in there just for some extra fun. If it's negative 2 degrees outside and it drops 12 degrees, what's the new temperature? And what can I do today? We would write this out as negative 2 minus 12, right? It's negative 2 and then it's dropping 12 degrees, negative 2 minus 12. So I'm going to write, rewrite it as adding the opposite, negative 2 plus negative 12. And I get my final answer of negative 14. So the final temperature is negative 14 degrees. If it's that cold outside, it's time to bundle up and call in sick. That's about all you want to do on a day when it's negative 14.
unless you work outside and your snow removal or something. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, that question was just to kind of add some silliness. It's 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 pretty cold outside. Let's just conclude that it's pretty cold outside. Unless you're from somewhere that's even colder than that all the time, and then you're like, it's balmy weather. Let's go swimming. And that, if that's the case, wow, just wow. All right, let's go ahead and review the steps for subtracting with variables. One, you substitute numbers in for letters. Step number two, you switch subtraction into adding the opposite. Step number three, you will add following all the rules for addition of integers and just have some fun with it. I hope that lesson's been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.